with life coach at coaching.com where I help Mormons who are in mixed faith marriages deal with all the things that happen because of a faith. This is a two part live. I want to talk about something today and something that's interrelated with it next week. So I'm going to cover two key issues that I really see in mixed faith marriages. And these are key in my own, are key in my own, present tense, my own journey, um, especially in your journey. Our couple's ship is really two individuals. We have to really work on the individual in order to show up in the couple's ship as a powerful whole person, as a partner, really make that couple ship, I know a word I'm making up, um, healthy and effective. So these are basically the two keys to feeling better as an individual, so much impact on the couple ship, as I like to call it. So two simple steps we're gonna discuss. One, how to stop hurting your own feelings, and two, how to stop blaming yourself for ruining your marriage. Huge in feeling better. So these aren't really things you hear about much, but they're often overlooked and not even considered. And as I mentioned earlier, they are absolutely key in feeling better. And this matters because when you feel better, you show up better in your mixed faith marriage. Like stay with me. This is really important. Most people, what they really, really want in their mixed faith marriage, what they tell me is connection. And what they mean by that is they want intimacy, emotional, physical, intellectual, all of these things that make a marriage truly great. They think that the faith transition, a lack of connection. And maybe they're, they think their spouse is the problem or the church is the problem or the in-laws are the problem or, you know, Nate, go on and on. And all of these things are certainly involved in the disconnection, but they are not the cause. They're not the root cause of the disconnection. They never are. Connection is an emotion. It's a feeling. You feel it in your body and, and often it feels really good. We like to feel connection, but because it's an emotion, all of our emotions are ultimately caused by a thought. Our thoughts cause our emotions. Now this really matters. This is not the time to skip ahead and get to, you know, the two points. This really matters. This is the most important thing. Because if you want more connections in your marriage, you must think thoughts that create connection. What I mean by this is that it's your choice. If you are empowered to feel connection, other people don't have to change or become or alter their behavior in any way for you to experience more connection. So let me give you some examples of thoughts that create connection for me. We have so much in common. We're on the same page. We're in this together. These are all thoughts that commonly create connection. It's simple, but it can be somewhat challenging to think these types of thoughts in the middle of a faith transition and in the ensuing mixed faith marriage. So here's where my two steps come into play. And remember the two steps are how to stop hurting your own feelings, and how to stop blaming yourself for ruining your marriage. You need to talk about these so that it's easier to create those thoughts that create connection. These are often the things standing in the way of. So like I said, this part. So today we're just going to talk about the first one, how to stop hurting your own feelings. So if you're hurting in a mixed faith marriage and many, many of us are, I certainly did for a very long time. It's because of what you're telling yourself about your marriage, your faith transition, your spouse, the church, your in-laws, whatever it may be. You're telling yourself things that cause hurt or some type of negative. So what are you telling yourself? You know, how does that feel? So in order to stop fearing, feeling sad, or angry, or betrayed, or whatever it may be, in order to stop feeling hurt, you really need to recognize your thought and choose something different. Like tell yourself a different story about the situation. If you think about Viktor Frankl, it's all about we get to choose our attitude regardless of the situation. That's what I'm talking about here. 
You see, your thoughts are all optional. You don't have to keep thinking a certain thought over and over and over again. That's your choice. If you keep thinking this is hard and that causes you to feel discouraged, you're never going to stop feeling discouraged until you decide to think differently about your marriage. So your faith transition, your spouse, the church, they are not causing you that feeling of hurt. You do by your thoughts. So when I say stop hurting your own feelings, this is what I mean. Stop hurting your own feelings. Stop telling yourself things that cause your feelings to be hurt. So this is why some people in a mixed faith marriage don't struggle at all. And some do. It depends on the stories that they're telling themselves. So remember, if you want to stop feeling hurt, you have to stop hurting your own feelings. Now this really matters, this, this feeling talk. It matters what you're feeling and this is so much of the work I do with my clients, this feeling work. Take a close look at the emotions around a faith transition and we get to the root of them. Because it matters when you decide on purpose how you think and how you feel about your mixed, ma mixed faith marriage, you show up the way you want on purpose. The feelings drive our actions. So if we want to act differently in our mixed faith marriage, we have to look at the feelings. They're not just fluff, they're absolutely key. We tell ourselves a lot of times, if they would behave, I would behave, right? We tell ourselves, but, but what if that weren't true? What if we could behave how we wanted without changing them at all? This is what can happen when you start looking at those feelings and you start looking at what you're thinking, then you can start how you're showing up. So when we're hurting our own feelings, we're really compromising how we're showing up in our marriage. When we're waiting for them to change first, when we're compromising how we show up in our marriage, right? So when we're hurting or feeling some sort of negative emotion, we're not showing up generously, kindly, patiently, lovingly. We're not because we can't. We can't act that way from hurt, from frustration, from sadness. That's just not the actions those emotions fuel. That's why they say hurt people hurt people. So again, the, one of the one powerful ways to feel better as an individual and therefore show up better in your mixed faith marriage is you have to stop hurting yourself. You have to stop hurting your feelings. You've got to start paying attention to what you're telling yourself about your marriage, about the church about your spouse. If it's causing you a world of hurt, there's only one way to be hurting your feelings. And then you can start showing up deliberately, purposely, and just better. You can Then you can start to show up like generously, kindly, with patience, with love, when you're not in a world of hurt. If you need help with this, if you're just like, Brooke, that sounds great, but how do I do this? That's when we need to connect. You need coaching. Reach out to me. Go to my website, brookboothcoaching.com. Click on work with me. You'll see a link. Let's set up a time for a free call. I offer a certain number of free calls every week, just a handful. Grab yours now. We'll get on the phone together. We'll talk about your mixed faith marriage. Go through a little process to explore it. Find out what's going on. And we'll see if coaching is a good fit for you. It probably is. It can really transform you as an individual and so you can show up in your marriage in a completely different way. That's the magic of how we change and transform our relationships. BrookeBoothCoaching.com. You can always message me here on Facebook. I'm here to help. All right, wishing you the best. Next week, we're going to talk about how to stop blaming yourself for ruining your marriage. It's the other key really feeling better as an individual so you can show up. All right, wishing you the best.